I think the greatest challenges for media development is really to build empathy and to slow down, right? So one is that we need to make sure that we are not reactive, but rather responsive. And there's a lot of room for that. People desperately want a bigger story. They want to make sense of this information deluge. So that is our role, is as media journalists who are coming in, you move away from all that information coming and flowing in per second, and you tie it together in a story that makes sense and resonates with people's values and cultures right now. Information is part of a larger storytelling exercise. And so you see this with the new WhatsApp groups and social media, particularly in the global south, where people are doing their bit, you know, whether it's a little video, you know, of something particularly political or a funny or an accident, and then they share it. And then the way in which people start to weave a narrative, sometimes out of your control, but also you feel part of a member of a bigger tribe, something bigger happening possibly even a social movement, right? We have to recognize that uh, low-income populations have been framed in particular tropes, and we need to break that as part of media development practitioners today. And so that's what I mean, like let's broaden them as complex users who have different needs and desires and are not just problem cases who are gonna be, you know, plagued by certain phenomena which we know is then tied to bigger agencies and, you know, and I think that would help.